Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, senior science teachers. So as you walk into this course, I know that it can be confusing to navigate the environment. So I just want to take a moment to help you navigate without uh, getting lost. So when you walk into the course, what you'll notice is that you should see an announcement page similar to this. And announcements will be abbreviated. You'll see a title and probably the first sentence. So every single week, I will do a course, um, I guess a summary of what we've done over the previous week. And you'll see those announcements here. Also, when I'm trying to communicate with the entire class, I will communicate through announcement. So always, always check the announcements when you first walk in. So for example, when you first walk in, you'll see this SAQ that stands for Senior Science Additional Qualification, Week 1 Course Announcement. And as you click on that, you will see all the information that's related to walking into the course for the first time. So some of the things I'm going to talk about now are written down in this course announcement along with appropriate dates. So please read the announcements first. All right. Once you've read the announcements, then you can walk your way around, explore, figure out what this course is all about. If I were to click on the home button, a home menu, I guess we call it, that you'll get back to the initial page which you first walked into. If you click on the syllabus, you will see an overview of what this course is going to cover. So clicking on this link here will open up the syllabus, and I already have it open on my computer here, so I will just um, avoid clicking on the link to have too many multiple windows open. The syllabus will open up here, and you'll see Senior Division Sciences. So we are running the Chemistry, Biology, and Physics as a single classroom environment. However, you will uh, be awarded the qualification that you applied for, registered. So as I scroll down here, you'll see some uh, front matter that talks a lot of ministry information about what the expectations are for the course. As you keep on scrolling through the syllabus, you will see uh, information of, about the assignments. Okay? So in this course, the major assignments include the concept presentation, and this is where you'll find the instructions. The concept presentation has several due dates. One is a, uh, like a um, you're letting me know how you're doing um, about a week or two before it's due. And then I'll give you some feedback if necessary. And then you'll submit the presentation, which is actually a presentation to other teachers in the class. And then there'll be some other pieces. But you can read through that concept presentation. In addition to the concept presentation, we also have something called the pedagogical portfolio. And in the pedagogical portfolio, you will be collecting information from the discussion forums that you've participated in throughout the course, and you will be putting them into a particular framework that aligns with uh, some of the ministry expectations of what a Ontario College of Teachers teacher should be exemplifying. All right. So as you scroll through here, you will see those titles. So for the pedagogical portfolio, the expectation is not that you're creating new content, even though you might. You're really taking information that you've posted over the previous two and a half weeks to two and a half months of the course, and you're going to be putting them into uh, this pedagogical portfolio and submitting that near the end of the course. And so you'll see that calendar that shows you all the dates. Right? So as I scroll down here, you'll see a number of things that are related to very ministry language, and um, hopefully it's something that you'll be able to reflect upon and use to improve your practices. Right? So you'll find all this information in the course syllabus. The final piece that we will make up the evaluation is your discussion participation. So let's take a look at what that might look like. Inside the course here, once you left the course syllabus, you'll also find the calendar. Um, I'm going to look at the calendar in just a moment. So if we go here to modules. So modules, this is where you access the course. So the course is broken into modules. And you'll see the first module isn't even named module. It's a welcome. And you can do this over a period of about an hour or so, I believe. And what's going to happen here is you're going to sign up for some projects, the concept presentation, and, the, and you're going to uh, share your contact information. So if I go in here to contact info, it's going to link to a Google Doc. So we do take advantage of the Google Docs and because they're easily shareable. Most people know how to use them. You have access to this after the course is done. And in this contact, you're going to write your down your email address that any teacher can interact with you with. And you're also going to indicate which course you're in. And you're going to tell us when you're available. So you might say, I'm only available in the evenings after school. 
or you're only available um, most of the weekends and oh, just indicate when you're planning on being online. And then if someone's looking for a partner to collaboration or they're looking for a particular response, they, they, they can look at this list and see when you're available. So that's the contact info. Also in here, you're going to see the project sign up. So this is where you're going to sign up for your concept presentation. So another Google Doc, when you open this up, you're going to see a list of most of the units within the senior science courses, so chemistry, biology, and physics. If you sign up for chemistry, clearly you're going to sign up for the chemistry course, biology, for the biology concept, physics, a physics unit, etc. So you'll notice that you have a choice of member one or member two. For the concept presentation, you can work by yourself, that's perfectly fine, or you can work with a partner if you would like. There is one person per concept. So if magnetic field is taken, then another person should uh, sign up for a different waves and sound. So you'll see the biology concepts, the chemistry concepts. There are no intermediate teachers, so that's why it's blacked out here. All right. You'll also see some deadlines on here, just in case you're not able to find it in the course syllabus or sign the instructions. So please sign your name on there, and that will allow you to uh, take control of what your learning will look like in this course. So that's under Project Sign Up, and all these are under the Welcome. The last one you're going to see is a calendar. I have not updated the calendar as of me recording this video, but it will say OISE Fall 2021, and I'll show you what that calendar looks like momentarily. Then you'll get into Module 1, Module 2, Module 3, the various modules. When you're working through the course, you, it's, it's based on the timing, because we want everyone to interact and talk to each other. So if you are finding that you're ahead in the course, then you're going to want to look at the big projects like the concept presentation, the pedagogical portfolio, and that's a really good way to use your extra time here. Uh, this fly keeps on flying around my face, and that's why I keep on swatting. It's kind of uh, annoying, but let me continue talking. So in the first module, there is a class bingo, and you're going to share some information about yourself, and then you're going to go to the bingo card, and after reading through everyone's information, you're going to try to make a, a line, like a classic bingo game, but really it's just to get to know you. Then module 1.2 and module 3, when you click on them, they are going to offer some readings, and they're going to ask you to share some of your experiences with uh, using online learning. We're trying to establish a community here, and uh, through some of these initial readings, hopefully you'll come to the same place, the same baseline of information. When you are going to 1.3, this one's a little bit more personal because you're looking at the standards of practice and ethical standards, and you're seeing how your practices align with the standards of practice. In most of the modules, you'll see something that looks like this. It'll tell you to read, watch, skim or scan some kind of resource, and then you're going to respond. Now, what we want to be careful of is not to make this a discussion-based course, where you're just posting something and you're done. So with each of the modules, you're going to see that one of the discussions is posted as a major discourse. And that, dis that discussion forum is going to be the one that you post, read your other teacher's responses, and then reply. And the reply should be more than just, I agree. It should be critical. There could be some feedback. It could be um, giving some ideas of that you have been in the same, same situation. Maybe someone posed a question and you're answering the question, and so on and so on. So for each of the modules, there'll be completion discussion forms where you just kind of read through, complete it. It might be activity, it might be just an opinion, and there'll be a major discourse where you're actually engaged in a discourse with the rest of the class. And this is why you want to be on that weekly schedule. If you go too far ahead, you can't be a part of the discourse, and then you're, you're not participating in the, the, the spirit of what discourses should be about. And of course, if you're far behind, then the teacher group will move on beyond you and you will not be able to have a discourse with them. So generally within each week, there'll be a module assigned and you work through at that point. Can you work ahead? Yes, you can. If you do work ahead, just make sure you come back and you have that discourse so that when I'm going through it to look to see how you know, you're reacting with each other or interacting with each other, I can see that you've uh, responded. Okay. 
So where do you find all that information about what is discourse and what is going to be completion? You'll find it in two places. One, I'll always post an announcement each week that talks about the upcoming module. And you can also find it in the calendar. So at this point, the calendar is not posted, so I can't click on the link, but it will be right here. When it is posted, you will see a document that looks something like this. So on week one, on Thursday, you're going to see that we're doing the start here module and then the discussion forms for 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. 1 1 the second week of the course, which starts on the 27th, is module two. The third week of the course, and so on. Now, the due dates, how the due dates work. So the first module, the first assignment is happening on Thursday. So that's, this week is a short week, but it's also just really get to know you and you're giving some idea of who you are as a person with your educational philosophy. Most of you have probably developed that already. The due date for this is before the next module starts. So this is assigned on the 23rd. The next module starts on the 27th. So that means this module here is due on uh, at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. And the new module starts on Monday. If you need more time, just send me a message and you know, life happens, you might be teaching in the classroom, something might be happening to your family, it, it was just a really tough week, and you might need more time, just send me an email and we can have that conversation and make sure that um, everything's okay. Because at the end of the day, we just want to make sure that you are learning, engaged, collaborating, networking, and um, receiving your accreditation. So we're going to do everything to make sure that happens. So scanning through here, you'll see each week there's typically one module. Sometimes there's two, but if it's a second module assigned, normally you're only doing a part of it. For the first little while, you'll see that you are completing discussion forms. But as we get closer to the middle of the course, you're going to see that some of the modules are only assigned, but you're not actually completing them. And those modules are going to come up in the concept presentation, or they're going to uh, come up in the pedagogical portfolio. So even though you'll see modules and discussion forums here to complete on the calendar. Always read the announcements, and it's in the announcement where I'll be very explicit about what you're completing for a submission and what you're completing for your own personal knowledge, and then you'll demonstrate in the, the major projects. Okay, So that's the calendar. And you'll see that the course ends on December 2nd. So on this last week of the course here, the concept presentation review is due, the pedagogical portfolio is due, and December 2nd, December 1st, 1st is the last day of the course. So it's like a Wednesday, I believe, in the middle of the week. Okay. The concept presentations are due here on the 22nd. That's where you'll be presenting. And you'll have somebody who's going to be doing a review and, and so on. Just read through the instructions and it'll be a, a little bit more apparent as to what's happening. All right. So that's a bit of the organization of the course. So come to the announcements. We're always first to see what I have to say to you. And once you've done that, go to the modules and you work your way through the modules. One module assigned each week. You can click on the discussion link on the left hand side and you can access the discussions through this link as well. I suggest going to the modules, it's framed a bit better that way. There's this course help form which I have subscribed to and I suggest that you do as well. And if you have any questions about navigating the course, about a particular assignment, about a particular discussion forum, please post it here. Because if you have a question, there's a really good chance that other teachers in the class have a question as well, a similar question. And if you feel you know the answer because you've already gone through the journey of trying to figure it out, then feel free to answer it. This is a community course help forum, but I always will check it. Assignments, you can access the assignments here. This is the same information that is in the course syllabus. So it's just in, posted in two different places, but it's the same information. All right. So I believe that's the majority of the information. I hope that you have success navigating, navigating the course. If you have any questions at all, please do ask. Uh, generally speaking, the course is going to be run as a discussion-based course. I will open up a few Zoom conferences for us to connect, and they'll be sporadically spread throughout the week or the weekend. Uh, each week, I will change the date that I'll be running it. I'll typically run them for an hour, and then it'll be a drop-in. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, then great. Um, at some of those, I will be sharing strategies of how I deal with uh, you know, assessment evaluation in a department, how you deal with uh, budgeting in a department, 
timetabling your department, um, inclusivity, diversity, whatnot, some of my strategies. Of course, the strategies are written in the course, but um, sometimes it's a little easier to have a back and forth conversation. You might have questions and you want some immediate uh, conversational pieces. So that's what the Zoom conferences will be about. But they're completely optional. They're not going to be used to uh, determine your, your A, A plus, B, B minus, whatever you might receive in the course. They're just to help you get a better understanding and to uh, feel more comfortable with the senior science courses. All right. So on that note, I look forward to uh, seeing you, reading your educational philosophies, hearing all about you in your uh, gringo. And if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll respond as soon as I'm able to. I am teaching throughout the day, so I likely will not necessarily respond between, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the evening because I'll be at school or traveling back and forth. Okay? Bye, everybody. See you soon.